Um, I've been having a problem with just trying to get into the fear of having a relationship with a man again. No. I know there's probably a lot of anger towards men still. The other day I kept on saying, I just want someone to love me, I just want someone to love me. And then all of a sudden I realised, no I don't, because I've still got this anger and this fear. And, and can I just stop you for a moment? Think about the reciprocal. You didn't say, I want to love someone. Well, that's the other thing that came to me this morning. I had a huge release even before I came today. And I was saying, I just want somebody to love me. And then I turned it around and said, I want someone I can give my love to and not be rejected. So that was huge for me. And then I went in and realised that God was already there doing that for me. So that was wonderful. But what I wanted to ask was, when you say about passing through you, the emotion passing through you, do you mean not taking it personally? Like sort of trying not to take it personally? Every, or... every emotion is personal. Yeah, well that's what I was sort of... So yeah. You mean once you've sort of had one with God, it will pass through you? No, I'm saying, I'm saying even for a child, the emotion passes through them. So for example, you look at a child, when a child starts crying, if you just let, let it cry, it cries for as long as it needs to cry and then stops. And after that, it gets up and walks around as if nothing had happened. You notice that with children? Like, they have their big cry or their big tantrum or whatever it is they're having at that moment, and then they get up straight afterwards almost as if nothing has actually just happened. So when an emotion fully passes through you, there's nothing left stored inside of you of that particular emotion at that moment. So. If I'm letting all emotion pass through me, I'm experiencing all emotion as it's passing through me. When it's finished passing through me, it's not something that I've stored inside of me. Okay, can I just, just one other thing. Um, when you were talking about women not understanding men, I've actually turned that around and it seems to be that I don't understand men. You know, I'm not worried about me and them not understanding me. I'm just... I don't understand their thinking at the moment. Uh, and the other thing is, over probably three or four years, I keep having this recurring dream, uh, being very anxious about people understanding me. You know, why don't you understand me? Why don't you let me just say what I need to say? And it, it's like I end up screaming because I don't feel like I'm being understood. So is that all part of the relationship thing and the anger thing? Yeah, your statement that I don't understand men, like it's, it's very blanket though. There, there, there's obviously specific men in your life and there's specific male relationships in the past. So if you can make it more personal, because when we just say, oh, who, who understands men, it kind of it's a, gets us away from lots there of stuff. There is a man in my life, and uh, well, I'd like him in my life, and I think he's my soulmate. But I'm getting mixed messages. I'm, 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 I have so much grief over not being with this man. Every time I think about it, I cry. So I think there's got to be something there. But um, it's, I don't understand where he's coming from, and I, I'm it's trying okay. to. Instead of trying to understand where he's coming from, just focus on what, what is being triggered in you right now. Because it is your law of attraction, even if he's your soulmate. So just try and go into, okay, mixed messages, how does that make me? Just go, and you're really good at that, go into all of that. And, and just don't try and kind of put him in a box yet or understand exactly what's happening with him. And, and this is a main problem that many have, not only with their husbands, wives or partners, but also with parents. A lot of times we don't allow ourselves to feel our emotion because we're so busy trying to understand the other person's emotion and why they did what they did. Forget about why they're doing what they're doing. Forget about why they did what they did. Forget about why, what you think they're going to do in the future and just focus on what am I feeling about what's happening with me right now in this relationship. What, what are my feelings? And that's a classic tool I used to use to get myself out of my emotions. To try and understand where the other person's coming from, have compassion for that, oh well that's just where they're at. And I just skipped over a whole load of emotion of how I felt about the treatment of me. Yeah. 
I think I'm just feeling like you. If I don't do it quick enough, he's going to be gone. Yeah. You know. Um, just if, one if more. If he's your soulmate. Yeah, you know, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I know. But that, that's kind of. Yeah. I, I understand mm. that feeling.